Merong tayong violation of Republic Act 9262 or the law on violence against women and children. At uh, one of the recent cases doon sa ating Korte Suprema uh, noong uh, February 10 ay isang tao na deliberately not giving support to the wife and the minor children. So, dito sa kaso nito, eh, dinistinguish ng Korte Suprema yung failure to provide at saka denial of support. Sabi ng Korte Suprema dito na, sa kaso, hindi natin mapangalanganan yung uh, mga parties dito kasi bawal because of the minor children. Uh, the failure to provide eh hindi emotional violence. In other words, pa kahit gusto mo, eh hindi mo kaya. Because in this case, the uh, wife of the uh, accused here was demanding that the children be enrolled in a private school na medyo mataas-taas yung kanyang tuition fee. So, sabi nung lalaki, gusto ko, sino ba namang tatay ang ayaw magpaaral sa anak sa magandang eskwelahan? But the problem is, financially, hindi ko kaya. And uh, kung hindi niya mapagbigyan yung request na private school, that would be considered as failure. Dahil gusto niya, hindi lang niya kaya. Yun namang denial of support. Kaya niya, pero hindi siya nagbibigay ng suporta. And that is considered as emotional violence for failure to provide financial support to the minor children of the accused. And this is uh, punishable under Section 5 of 9262. Bakit uh, yung violence against women, kala natin bugbug lang or suntok lang o sampal lang? No, because uh, under the law, yung pagbigay ng emotional anguish or mental suffering sa isang tao uh, spouse or bata yung pagbigay ng psychological violence no uh, to the uh, wife or the children is also considered as violence against women no so ang uh, ang importanteng bagay dito sa kasong ito pag hindi deliberate yung pagbigay mo o yung hindi mo pagbigay ng support, then you cannot be convicted of violence against women and children.